Welcome to our first Affinity Designer workshop. In this video, you will know how to save your colors inside the swatches panel and you will also know how to add a document palette. At the end of workshop number two, you will have three icons exactly like this. Once I select one of the colors here, I can go up here under Fill and I see I have RGB hex sliders selected. In the previous tutorials we worked with the HSL color wheel. Now we're using RGB hex sliders for the following reasons because I will provide you this code. So all you can do is type in the code if you like that medium blue. Now let's begin with starting up a new document and setting up a landscape artboard. I go under File, New, a4 landscape create artboard and I would recommend not to include the margins using RGB. Transparent background I prefer so I can also see white on white. I say create and here is my artboard. First let's start with this rounded rectangle tool. We draw a shape like this, hold down the shift key so it's equally sized. Using the move tool, put it inside the page in the middle. Now we are choosing the blue color. We will go on to fill, RGB hex sliders and I can provide you the number. The blue is 4EA2DC. The next step would be I Click on this object, hold down the ALT key. While I'm holding down the ALT key, I move this object over to the left. Now I'm creating the green. Going up here, fill, it's the number 6, BD499. I let go and the green is selected. I go back in the middle, hold down the ALT key again, drag it over, and you can see right away here is my other object. Then I go on to fill and the red will be D3474C. You have the red. Now I have these objects. I hold down the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the second one, still hold down the shift key and click on the third. All three selected. Up here you have possibilities for alignment. For example, you can say align middle. Looks pretty good to me. All I need to do is move it a little bit to the right using my arrow keys in the keyboard. And I can even see by using my arrow keys in the keyboard, you can see the measurements showing up in blue numbers. I move up a little bit more though to have enough space for the round circles. Then I use the round circle number one, ellipse tool, holding down the shift key again, click and drag. Now to find the pink, again I go on the fill, I give you the hex code. If you like, it's FFA6CE. I let go. And that's the pink. I again hold down the ALT key and move over the circle. Fill six times F, 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 and there is your white. Again holding down the ALT key by moving it, going over here, and I would like to select my gray. Fill, the number will be D, B, D, C, D, C. I click into these numbers and it will get adjusted to a light gray or choose a light gray you like. Again, hold down the ALT key, move the circle over, the light blue, under fill, A, 0, D, 1, F, E. Click on it, hold down the ALT key, it makes a copy. Click in these numbers here and it will apply. Perfect. F, F, E, A, 9, 7. Again, for the last color, hold down the ALT key, move it over, and here I need a strong orange. FF 
B323. Click inside the numbers, it should apply. Perfect. Now, as mentioned before, choose the colors you like. That's my recommendation. But as you can see, it does take time to set up the colors. That's why now we're moving to step number two. We go into swatches, going inside here and say add document palette. Up here I can rename it, rename my palette and call it icons. You select the green. Right away when you select it, it shows up here. All you have to do is click on this icon and say add current fill to palette. Click. Done. Click on the pink. Select it here. Click on this icon. Add current fill to palette. Select the white. It's shown up here. Add current fill to palette. Ready to go. Now you simply repeat the same for the remaining colors. Now I moved it over a bit because I would like to show you something else. I also exported my palette. So you can import it. All you have to go is under import palette and say import palette as document palette and use the document palette I'm providing. It's called Animal Icons AF Palette. Open it. And now you can either choose the colors I just provided for you or you use yours. Please don't forget to save this file under File. Save as, hit the save button and we'll continue soon with part number two.